Hi, good morning, and peace be upon you. I'd like to welcome you to Poem Praise 2. And uh, what i like to talk about today is abusive relationships. Now, I read, history tends to repeat itself without the intervention of God. And to him, all praises do. Now, for this uh, video, I, I have no notes. I'm just going to go ahead and, and let you know what's on my mind that I just need to drop it out to females who have been or who are currently in an abusive relationship. Now, I did hear somebody say that I can, well, I'm going to make it personal because this is a personal message for y'all. Now, I can go through something for 10 years, which I did, to deliver you in 10 minutes. So, abusive relationships where uh, you're, you're with someone, they're talking to you, and the way they talk to you, it, it, it doesn't sound right. It doesn't make you feel good. Uh, the way they might tear you down in regards to what you might have on, what you might cook, is always a breakdown. Now, it, it should be about building up. Now, let me go ahead and make it a little bit deeper. See, now, if you have abusive relationships and you don't have the intervention of God, it might be a generational type thing where you might have seen mama get treated like that. Then all of a sudden, you're getting treated like that. And, and something goes off in your head where this don't look right. This don't sound right. This don't feel right. Now I'm going to make it personal. Yeah, I was in it. I got two girls. And I'm thinking to myself, they can't grow up seeing mama get treated like this. It's going to come a point in your life, my women who are in it right now, where you get sick and tired of being sick and tired. No, not, not just, I'm going to go through it for the benefit of the children. No. You're raising up another generation. You're, you're going to have to actually uh, put a stop sign up. No, you're on a journey. <laughs> but in order for some things to stop, continue, you got to put the stop sign up. And then all of a sudden, uh, I might have some people out there like, well, we really don't talk to her a lot. She don't come around a lot. What's that about? First of all, I've been groomed for this. See, when, when I was younger and in school and I was the uh, only uh, black, African American, whatever you want to call us, different shades around all the white people. You know, I, I was used to being by myself. See, I, I was by myself in school. Then actually left that school and went, went to a high school, used to being by myself. But am I by myself? Hmm. Now, to all my uh, girls out there, I just had some real quick come to mind. If if you're a smart, intellectual educational type woman look for that same quality in who you should be with in the future don't try to dumb down and, and watch it because when you like that the enemy seeks whom he may devour you know uh, like a, 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 a maybe you like the streets you'll know a lot about the streets and then all of a sudden, here come that, that fine, handsome, sexy uh, street fella just talking a whole bunch of game. Watch out now. That's a good way to get played. Just saying. When you don't know the rules of the game, <laughs> you don't know how the game should be played. Guess what? They're going to make a play, and you're not going to be ready for the play. And when you're dealing with somebody's life, when you're dealing with your offspring, it's a game. And sometimes games ain't fun. I'm trying to tell you. I'm just going to be real deal, holy feel with you for real. Not to, because cause, cause I see it out there. It's happening right now. Women having kids. But you're not with a man 
You with a boy. He needs a mama. Wants you to take care of him. You got the rent. You paying the rent. You got stuff on your shoulders like 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 you got the weight of the world on your shoulders. And and you the woman. You gotta think about paying the rent, how to get food in the house, um, how to get the, the OPPD here in this city, that's the light. The the light the light bill. The MUD here in this city, that's the water bill. Oh, okay, wait a minute. You ain't trying to help me. 50-50. The kids need some shoes. The kids need some clothes. Now a real man my women, is going to be thinking about how to supply for the household. We got a lot of hustlers out here trying to, instead of out there hustling, bringing the money home. I'm not talking to all the men. I'm only talking to the men who actually wear this outfit. Where you, where you think it's kosher and cool for you to treat your, your woman like she's supposed to be bringing in the money. What you think this is, a pimp game? Especially the ones that got sons. Your son is watching that like, wait a minute. He treat mama like this. This don't make no sense. You calling mama all out of her name. This don't make no sense. And, and then I, I, I'm just going to add a little shout out to, to, to some of the churches. Because I just had something else come to mind. Now, if you have... Yeah, don't get upset, because I might say something, but hey, hey, if I say something that'll, that'll hurt your feelings, truth do, does do that. The truth will set you free. But if you have been somebody who have been delivered from, let's say, drugs or alcohol, and you got a church, hmm, why don't you have AA meetings at the church? You know, there's a lot of people out there who who dealing with alcohol. Why don't you have NA meetings, Narcotics Anonymous? <laughs> You've been delivered from drugs, but it, what, it's just for you? Not no benefit for the people, <laughs> but you're not trying to go out there and have them come up in here. You think they might steal some. You think they might want to drink some. But shucks, you talk about what you've been delivered from, but is you trying to go out there and help deliver some? Yeah, I'm a real busy woman. <laughs> you talking about go out there and get some of the abusive ones. But if I'm dealing with something myself, I'm trying to reach my people the best way I know how. Drop this. Put it on the show. Listen to the show. Be encouraged. Be uplifted. Uh, know that this too shall pass. Trouble don't last always. Now, once a school, twice a fool. Then had one kid. Now you got two. I ain't going to talk about it. Been through it. For real. That somebody walk out, don't want to take care of. Just leave it all on you. In order to try to break you down. But who's all seeing? Hmm. Who can see it all? Yep. Who's all knowing? Who knows it all? Oh, okay. All right. Not the first of them went through this. Okay. All right. And, and I don't understand this one right here. Here's the trick right here. Now, some of you, you elders saw the younger going through it. Kept quiet. Didn't say nothing. Kept quiet to yourself. Your actions spoke louder than words. You really didn't care about the, the next generation. They was doing a repeat of what you was doing. But you, you didn't think inside your mind I could put up a stop sign? Wow. Where they do that at? They want to try to say you love. Love is an action word. It could be a noun. Mm -hmm. It could be a noun. But it could be an action word. An action word, show me. Kind of like show me better than you could tell me. Because well, we got a generation that's watching. I said they watching. We got a, a generation that's listening. What you saying? What? Holler back. Holler. Holler at me. This is me hollering at you. For real. Well, well can you do this? Can you do that? And that abuse, sometimes when you go through abuse, it's hard to trust people. They figure you got played by a man uh, abusively. How about, I, how about I play you? And I'm not just talking about playing games with males. Males and females. Y'all know who y'all are. Shucks. Once you done took me to school one time, you think I'm going to keep on going to school? Keep on being like, wait a minute. Now you done got me, you done got me for some things, you done got me for some paper. Now you think we just gonna kick it like we cool? Like, 
I don't even remember. Come on now. Now, if you actually have had the struggle for your bills and you with a fella and he ain't trying to help you with the dividends in order to pay the bill, if that's not a wake up call, I mean, you can still stay in it, but it's going to come a period. Here's the real kicker for you where uh, love ain't going to pay the bills. I mean, you, you sitting up in the bed, getting your groove on, making babies. I ain't going to pay no bills. Oh, the sex is good. Now what? <laughs> the sex is good. Oh, that's below the waist. But are you thinking about me in regards uh being more than just a sexual attraction? What about my mind? What about what's on the inside? Uh-huh, yeah, the heart's in there. Is there a way where you can actually be so intellectual where you can pacify my mind without even touching me cover up ladies you're putting it on display wonder why uh dogs is coming around probably because they could sniff and sniff and smell and see that this is something for the easy taking robin why you coming like this cuz uh, i know there's some people out there i know there's some females out there like Oh, okay. And the healing process is a daily process. It's kind of like a, a seed, kind of like a plant, you know? Every day you're going to check on the plant. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then need a little water. Mm-hmm. Sometimes don't, you're going to have to push through this, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you're going to have to cry. You know, them tears going to water the seed. Not an easy process. But if you really want something bad enough, how bad do you want it? Due to the fact it's a process, that means you're going to have to work at it. For real. I'm just trying to keep it real. Because see, uh, some of y'all like, well, why don't you hang around? And why don't you do this? Why don't you come around? Well, if I'm so caught up in what you're doing, what the heck am I doing? If I'm trying to get somewhere, I got some detours. No worries. Because know how to multitask, right? Right. But, but if I'm healing in the area, why would I want to come around you who's dealing with the area? I, I'm going to just make it real like this. Okay, let's say this for example. If I don't drink, why would I come, come hang around you and you drinking? What, so you can offer me a drink? If I'm living in sobriety, why would I want to come around you so you could try to tip me with some sobriety? Mm -mm, come on now, got to be smarter than that. I could show you better and I could tell you, like, oh, Robin, she don't, she don't smoke weed, uh, she don't drink. Well, that could be the reason why I don't hang around you. Because I'm trying to show you that you don't need it. Well, well, Robin, you could do this and you doing that. Really? I'm trying to show you that you can do it too. Well, well, maybe it's the way you was raised, and maybe it's uh, uh, the, the way you came up. No, no, no. God is no respecter of persons. Come on now. You can't keep on looking at somebody thinking, well, they did it, they did it, they did it. Guess what? What's in them is in you, okay? How, how, deep, how deep you going to dig to pull it out? That's what's it about. Dylan digging deep. I got some offspring that I'm raising. You got some offspring that you're raising. When you think about it's not all about what's on, on, on the inside. Uh, the pleasures of, of feeling good. The pleasures of the endomorphins being released in the body. How else can you get them exercise? Come on, you gotta you gotta read, you gotta study, you gotta learn. It ain't all at school. There's a library full of books. Which subject do you want? There's Google. Can you ask the right question? Healing is a process. You're not just going to snap, snap, snap your fingers and it happen. This ain't no like Sabrina the Teenage Witch where I'm going to just twinkle my nose and it's going to just happen just like that. Come on, that's fantasy. We dealing with reality. And I'm almost up, done up on this vid looking at my time. So I'll holler at you here on Poem Praise 2. Be blessed. Holler y'all. Later y'all.